just got my new watch guys rolex rolex explorer one man 40 39 mil 39 mil explorer one I've been wanting this for years i've been wanting it for years and i finally did it so uh there you go there you go to all the haters out there <clears throat> so there you go what do i think what do i think i like it i like it man <coughs> i like it i like it i actually prefer it to the explorer i had a black dial 3186 movement which i had for a little while but i sold because i was short uh, i actually prefer it a bit of variety is good man it's like with the bitches a bit of variety is always good you know never hurts never hurts never hurts hi guys archie luxury and today guys i want to show you why vintage is such a pain in the ass ah let me tell you stories of woe so anyhow guys i do a little bit of vintage watch brokering if you have a very rare vintage watch i'll try and broker a deal and charge a very small commission anyhow anyhow i had a uh, a fan came to me and said they had a 1680 which is a beautiful beautiful piece to have a 1680 plastic submariner date uh ab absolutely gorgeous piece to behold and they came to me and said archie can you help me sell it and i said hey 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 i'll uh, i'll gladly do that i do love my vintage submarinas i had a look at it look look it looked fine to me i had a special dial expert in uh overseas who who i flick him 50 dollars and he he says to me yes or no on the dial because on vintage sports rolex the most important thing is the dial that is the biggest thing that can affect the value if the dial's not right you were really uh how would you put this you were really quite fucked uh the dial is the most important feature on a vintage sports rolex anyhow long story short long story long this particular watch itself there we took it to a um a watch expert in sydney one of my confidential uh contacts yes fuckers i don't give my fuck contacts out willy-nilly if you flick me uh, fifty dollars i'll give you information and i'll lead you on the right path i don't do shit for free anyhow we went to see my my contact in sydney and we just wanted to make sure get him to open he's a watchmaker open the case check the movement check the dial uh just check a few pieces things about this watch and you wouldn't believe it you wouldn't believe this in a month of sundays you wouldn't believe this story i could not fucking make this shit up but guess what? It had the wrong back on the watch. That's right, guys. It had a Rolex Submariner 5513 back on a 1680. Ah, fuck. Fuck. And uh, it's, it's a really a very difficult situation. What do you do? What do you do? Well, in this case here, uh, Archie came to the rescue. The uh, watchmaker, my vintage watch expert, you wouldn't believe this. Now, this is the, the part that is absolutely, you could not make this shit up. He had the correct back in stock. He had the correct 1680 back in stock. Uh, it was actually, it had an engraving on it, which mm, detracts a little bit, but hey, it's the correct 1680 back and um he was prepared to do a swap um for the two backs basically i'd give him a 5513 back with no engraving he'd give me a 1680 back with an engraving and for the pleasure of the change i would also give him some money and uh this is where the whole deal could have exploded if either party in this transaction wanted to be a complete cunt and say well i want to profiteer out of it the whole fucking deal would have collapsed the whole fucking deal would have just 
gone completely fucking pear-shaped. And this is where you've got to be so fucking careful and say, right, guys, let's not be cunts about this. Let's, um, let's be realistic, okay? Let's be realistic. We've both got a problem here. We need to get a 5513 back. Um, instead of trying to screw any party out of money on this situation, let's just be calm and um, let's, let's settle this. And um, he, he was quite, the, the watchmaker, he's a, he's a contact of mine. He, he was actually, um, you got to be so, this, this deal had so many legs, it's not funny. So you've got the, the seller who uh, gave me the watch, entrusted the watch to me. You've got a buyer, you've got me as the broker, and you've got a watchmaker. So you've got four people involved. If any, if any one of these people wanted to profiteer, the whole deal is fucked. And it's, it's very tricky. What do you say? What do you do? What do you do? And um, I've got to tell you the truth there. You really need each other's cooperation. And um, thankfully, thankfully, I was able to broker this deal where for a nominal amount of money we were able to settle the score. Basically, the watchmaker got the 5513 back. He gave us the 1680 back. A small amount of money changed hands and the deal was done. It, um, this is the problem with vintage. See, the problem with vintage is 40 years ago, people weren't so anal about making sure the right back went with the watch. Mistakes happened. Obviously, a 40-year-old watch has been serviced, say, 10 times. Well, a younger watch may have had half the service, half the services, half the chances of something fucking up. And then, even then, in the old days, if someone had a, a back that, say, had an engraving on it and you didn't want that, you'd just say, hey, well, let's put another Submariner back on. People didn't care whether it was a 5513 back or a 1680 back. They put on whatever would fit. And this is what's happened with so much vintage. It's such a pain in the ass. It's so difficult. It's so easy to fuck up. So um, I hope you can see by this story here, all ends well. Archie's contacts save the day. But you can see how these things can be quite difficult. And then you've got sellers who are really dishonest cunts who deliberately take bits out and try and substitute bits. There's a lot of horrors stories about vintage. I won't go into that at the moment, but um, you've got to be so careful when you're dealing in vintage. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Thanks, guys. Archie signing out. Signing out, guys. That's it. That's the end of the show. That's how it goes, guys.
Hi guys, Archie Luxury Unemployed Vlogs. And I gotta tell you guys, these paid reviews, I'm gonna be punching them out, punching them out, punching, punching, punching them out, man. Punching them out. So, uh, I just wanna let everyone know that I'm going to be working my guts. I've, I've, I was hoping to do 10 a day, but I gotta be honest with you, to get my mojo right, to get them done, five a day. I'm going to do five paid reviews a day. Um, I do a lot of work on this channel and uh, i got to be honest with you, it's very, very tough at the moment. The YouTube, the dollar is from the Latin. Fucked is fucked I. It's really fucked. So, um, man, please support me on the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluto channel and Archie Luxury corporate not to mention Archie Luxury live streaming for your live streaming solutions so uh, guys I love you all if you haven't done a paid review consider it's 50 US dollars I'll talk about your collection I'll give you some advice what to call what to add I'll give you my honest opinion what I think of your collection could be good guys could be very very good so um you know, collect a, a review comes in. I print out a sheet. I uh, I research it. I think about it. It takes a lot of time to do these reviews properly. I don't want to rush them, churn and burn. No, 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 no. It's not my style. If you'd like a paid review, you know what to do. Send me PayPal fifty dollars, fifty fuckaroonies, fifty US dollars to Archie Luxury seventy two at gmail .com. Come on, fuckers. Work with me, not against me. Work with me, fuckeroonies. Not against me. Thank you, fuckeroonies.